Well, basically, <laughs> <laughs> basically uh, we're here today to well, discuss something that firstly, obviously, we haven't done tons and tons of research about. But it is a topic that is so interesting and that like we just do want to talk about. Um, and it is the thing of steroids in sport. Yeah. Well, I, I just think that it's not, you know, you shouldn't not question it. You know, it's it's borderline naive to just go, yep, yeah, these guys, because they've broken the records, because they've won, and you want to believe that they are clean because it gives us all hope. Right, it's the, what these people do for all, all of our lives is massive, and we don't want them to be cheats. We want it to be real. It gives us all that belief, right? And I just think it's naive, though, to not to not at least go. Hang on, I'm open the, to the idea that they may, considering everyone else in that race, you know, well, not everyone, but there are a lot that are doing it. Uh, I think it's yeah, just naive to say, oh yeah, they're you know. Clean as a whistle. I completely. When you realistically have n- no knowledge. That's true. You know that's what I mean. That's true. But I'm under the impression of let's take Kipchoge or Usain Bolt. Let's take Usain Bolt for an example. Okay. Yeah. I'm under the impression that he is honestly so good at what he does. He doesn't need it. There is footage of him, age 17, 16 at high school races, just yeah. blitzing everyone. Yeah. So when you're that age, you're not, you're not doing like you wouldn't be doing steroids at that age, would you? Well, no. So he's always been leagues above everyone. And that's why I feel like, A, he doesn't need to take them. B, why would he take them if he's already better than everyone else? Yeah, but I mean, like, there's that thing of, like, where they're, you know... I feel like you're sort of... You're finding it hard to believe that a human is capable of that without the help. Incorrect. No? No, no, no. I'm... I'm, Yeah, wait. No, I'm, I'm saying that, like, everyone else... Like, how can... Oh, it's like I'm the analogy I'm trying to think. Say, for example, we were weightlifting, right? Yeah. Yep. And natural, you were lifting fifty kg, and natural, I'm lifting forty-five. I take steroids. That's bumping me up. I'm lifting seventy. Okay. And you would be left behind at, at, at lifting fifty, but you know that you're better than me, natural. You know you're better than everyone else around here, natural. So you take then the steroids because you're feeling to- cheated. Yeah, yeah, you're cheated by everyone else around you, so you're just leveling level the pa- the playing f- uh, field. Do you understand? And I believe that was the case with Lance Armstrong, am I right? I don't know. So I'm under the impression that he was dominating the field. Who? And Lance, Lance Armstrong. Armstrong but yeah. cycling, everyone is on it. And yeah. he has obviously come out and said everyone is on yeah. it. And I think maybe the reason he got into it is he was dominating everyone gets on it and he's like how am I supposed to compete against these guys now so then he gets on it the only annoying thing is that he won absolutely everything and he didn't get caught until the end of his career well that's what I'm saying and now he's disgraced that's that is literally what I'm saying it's not unheard of it's not like oh my god this has never been done you get the the list of cases you know I don't know if you can see but the list of cases of of obviously doping you know drug cheats is absolutely goes on and on and on and on and on you know, it's literally like, you know, you hear things of like the Olympics. Yeah, you have all these tests, but it's filled with more drugs than the average nightclub, mate. Well, <laughs> no, but you're not. That's literally like, Look obviously, at- you, you know, but what I'm saying is like the testing, they can rave about that. But say you're tested like there at the event, but leading up to it. Wait, wait, wait. Just let, let me finish the point no, and no, then you no, can no. say it. But like the, leading up to it, you can cycle whatever you're going to do. At a point where you know you you're undetectable, and I know like, well, I've heard they de- they either have or are developing stuff where you can take a bunch of gear and then take something that makes it undetectable. So it's literally like in your in your urine and stuff. So it's just like that's what I'm saying. Like there's a whole load of advances that maybe just the average people don't even know about. Well, the craziest thing is that let's say let's take the case of the Russian doping scandal which was massive was it i think it was the winter olympics or was it the actual oh. olympics they then do the test then someone at like 2 a.m in the morning would go in and swap the samples around well, so they could swap never get... it so so wait so the original one from the athlete is got drugs in it yep and then they swap it with a clean one yep what and that and who was what so the organization of the olympics was involved with that yes 
In the Russian agency, yeah. Oh, in the Russian one. I was Russian like, that's specific. why they got and banned. And that's why Russia got banned, yeah. Okay, And okay. obviously everyone higher up were, like, denying, like, there was, like, there was assassinations. Well, all because of that? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> obviously there wasn't assassinations, but people went, yeah. people disappeared. Um, it's a fascinating thing. And so, that's why they got banned. That's why they're a disgrace. That's why people are calling for them to be banned for longer. Yeah. It was massive. They took it so far. They had a secret room to make Russia try and win. And obviously, yeah. even with that, they still couldn't compete. With yeah, that. so that's like the the end of probably like they've got loads of money behind that, like loads to sort of make this cheating possible. But then you've also got to look at the other side of where it's like, okay, there are some, uh, you know, uh, athletes that come from backgrounds that aren't, say like from fortunate and well-supported backgrounds and they've got nothing to lose. So like what I mean by that is, you know, they dedicate their whole life to this one thing that can literally change their life around. But the one thing that's getting in their way is, say, other people are doing, you know, you know that they say, oh, the Russians are doing uh, drug cheating, the Americans maybe, etc. In order to compete, I, like, I have to do this. The and what, well, you'd rather see your family starve than, you know, take some supplements that everyone else is already taking. They're so close from making it, maybe in their head they're like, I'm not going to make it unless yeah, I it's do that this thing decision. of like yeah, and okay, even if it's not like because oh, everyone else is doing it, the thing of like where you're that obsessed with being the best, right? You wanna, you know, you're willing to sacrifice everything, sacrifice family, living like a, a fun life, arguably, sacrifice everything. You're telling me you're not willing to do this extra thing that's going to make you be the best? Because true people that want to actually be the best. Rules go out the window. I will do anything to be the best. Do you know what I mean? Like that. That's one way that you you know it can be perceived. But then there's also those humans who exceed expectation, exceed anything that a human is capable of doing. Let's look at the likes of Fedra. You really think Fedra's would have taken drugs? You never know. No, oh, you never, never know. know. No, not. No, a but that's no, but this is what I'm saying. All I'm saying, mate, it's healthy to question everything. I know. That's what I'm saying. I know it's healthy. But there is not a chance he's taking drugs. He's your he's your absolute hero. That's why that number. That's why that instant thing of like, there's absolutely no way. There's no way. And that's that's it's that that I'm saying that a lot of people will do. Where it's like they literally are so inspired by this person, certain individuals in sport that no way, no way. And everyone is like, no way, no way. But you just never know. And when they've done so much for a sport, they become protected. You would have thought that, you know, if, if they're making so much money for a sport, why is that organisation not just going to protect them and say, yeah, mate, you carry on and we'll, you know, do, do you know what I mean? I get your point. However, if Sharapova can get caught out, who yeah. was at the top of the yeah. women's game, who's stopping Fedra? Like, he's clearly getting drug tested like everyone else. Yeah. And he's coming up healthy? Not not false. Not negative. 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 Where Sharapova? Oh, sorry, it was like a it was a medical. Yeah. That's why. I, I, bollocks. But if Sharapova thought she could get away with it, why? What made her think she could get away with it? Maybe she because, knows. Well, Sharapova went down the route of I didn't know it was a. Well, yeah, no, yeah, but like, but you know, she's obviously knew what she was doing when she did it, and I'm saying she's she must. Young. There's got no, but there's got to be an element of either. Yeah, that she's. She's young. She's not a big enough name like Federer, who's... Think of the history of Federer, mate. If they did him now, that's the whole of tennis going downhill. Whereas Sharapova, oh yeah, we can do her, do her to set an example to everyone else. Don't do it. She came back as well. Yeah, exactly. But they, they, they need some people to set an example for, to make an example of. But someone like Federer, even if, say for example, just hypothetically, if he did get detected by the people now, I don't think they'd announce it. I reckon they'd say, look... Right, just stop, just don't. And he may be like, yeah, I've stopped now. It was just like ages ago. But like, I don't, it's in the interest, sometimes, mate, the interest of the sport is like what gets prioritised. Like, you know, you know, and I know some, you yeah, know, no, they, no, they, no. some sports are like policed differently. Like, you know, say like boxing's like renowned for being corrupt. <laughs> Whereas say like football, maybe, I mean, we think is maybe more, well pleased, but that's the thing. You can never be sure when there's so much money involved. See, I, I get you. I hundred percent get your 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 you're, your, yeah, your, yeah, your yeah. Uh, I hundred percent get your point. However, okay, the likes of Fedra, Bolt, Kipchoge, I feel like they have too much to lose 
Do they? Yes, because if they, if, if they, it'd be like, oh, you know what? Just this one time, but you may get caught. They're not going to take that risk from throwing their entire career down the bin when they've already got everything. What if their whole career they've done it and just been undetected? And it, it, up till <sighs> now, like Kipchoge, like obviously unbelievable. You know, you could, even just to do it, even if you are taking anything, I'm not saying he is at all, but just to do what he's done, unreal, oh. and it, it's inspired millions, right? But what if just his whole career, like improving, 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 and has been alongside taking certain supplements? But I just don't understand how you wouldn't get caught. Because, because, mate, there are there are ways. There are you, these elite level. There are ways, and even even not at elite level, like I, the whole like cycling. Obviously, I don't know the ins and outs, but this whole like way you can cycle it, you can make it so that you know these athletes are so busy that these random drug tests surely have got to be not entirely random because their their training schedule means that they have to at least be notified uh, in advance at least a little bit because otherwise they may be competing or training or doing something on those dates so i don't know there's got to be an element of like okay they know at least when to an extent I, I, who knows, yeah like, obviously though. we don't know but you know that's 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 the, just a question that i'm asking you know and uh yeah, you know, and obviously people think of like steroids as like, oh, okay, it's only just for like getting muscles. But obviously, as you see on this list, like there's, cardio, there's so right? many, yeah, there's so, there's so many different types of, uh, you yeah, like, how would you, what would you say? Just like drugs to cheat with in sport? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, marathon runners, long distance runners are on the list. Lots of them, lots and lots and lots of them. <laughs> no, mate, there's so many of them. And I'm like, if they're all doing it and they... You know, they're incredibly fit and they haven't broken this record. How, like, it's, you know, it could be perceived as naive to think, how has this guy done it? Well. And why has it not been done before until now? Because humans, like, you got to think, actually, to an extent, like, long distance running, I don't know the ins and outs of it. Shock. But what I'm saying is, like, surely there's an element of, like, ru like running for a long amount of time is running for a long amount of time. There's not too much like complexity that you could add that could m make your time improve. Massive amount. Yeah, but as in like, what I'm saying is in like, say, say for example, build, if like bodybuilding, there's so many different types of lifts that you can do to make your muscles grow. But running to an extent, and this is just coming from a an outsider's point of view, I would have thought to an extent it is like running is running. So the, no? re the reason why he broke I, Wait, wait, I'll say that, I'll say that. I, I know obviously like at different altitudes, I know like, all Wait, the different gonna, conditions and stuff. I'm going to say the whole point of the marathon is that it's 26 miles. Yeah. That is a long, long way. Yeah. So he had the re So he attempted it three years ago. Yeah. And fell short by like 20 seconds. Okay. When this time they again did it at the altitude, it was perfect. They had a flat track and he just did a loop like that. He did the loop four times. Yeah. He had special shoes, which you can't buy from yeah. Nike. They have like carbon fiber. It's like yeah. people are like, oh, he's cheating with those shoes. It's sport technology. Yeah. It's going to evolve anyway. Uh, he had alternating pacemakers, and they had a car which was being driven by a computer to calculate the exact pace he needed to go, so he was following a laser. So he had all these different things okay. which enabled him. Like It okay. technically isn't an official world record because it's not an official marathon. Yeah, It was a scenario set up by Nike so he could break the two-hour record, which obviously is insane but it's not an official world record. And the things, the little things I said there which help him break his pace. Yeah. He was only doing his mile pace like two seconds quicker. But that two seconds over 26 miles equated to like one minute 40 or something stupid like that, yeah. which took, he broke it by one minute 40. So it's those minor little details in the technology and everything which helped him achieve that thing. For example, if you look at do you remember this swimsuit costume by... Yeah, 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 I know, I remember, I remember. Who was the... No, it doesn't yeah. matter, but yeah. But they banned that in the end because the, the swimmers who were sponsored by that company were just winning everything and it was an unfair advantage on everyone else. So yeah. you could look at... The technology the te being... Is technology a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, that, that, that is 100%. Is, does that count as, say, like a, an unfair advantage? It's only should, unfair. should everyone have to wear the same thing? Yeah, it's yeah. only unfair if another company doesn't have access to that technology. Yeah, 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 arguably. Um, I guess, yeah, just the thing of, like, 
when he attempted it without the technology. I mean, you just don't, you just don't know. I mean, if he hasn't, if he, if he's done it naturally, you know, and they all do, that unbelievable. Even with whatever, to be able to dedicate your life it is unbelievable. But I think it wouldn't but, surprise me now if, like, multiple people go and do two-hour marathons now. You know, as soon as one person does it, everyone does it. Like that bloke. Yeah, but then, then, but that's the part that I question because, like, how, like, as humans, we haven't like evolved men- immensely over, say, like the past hundred years. I know the technology and being, like you say, about being able to know your pace and, you know, keep an eye on your pace and all that stuff. But, like, what I'm saying is if humans haven't evolved, is, like, what, you know... No, we have evolved. No, but in the past hundred years, mate. Well, we... Okay, so we've learned more about diet, which helps us cardio Yeah, evolve. Yeah, but to an extent. To an not, extent, not to yeah, the point I know, of, like, yeah. say, I mean, obviously, I don't know what previous marathon times have been down the years, but hypothetically, I mean, this may be, like, invalid if it's not even the case, but say if, like, back in the day, the, you know, the best world record was, like, three hours, and now 50 years later, it's two hours it's like whoa wait say like so you know what i mean i think that is actually like pretty accurate by the way yeah but that no but that's what i'm saying like as in if it's say like three hours how can the human without evolving and yeah diet to an extent and you know training at different altitudes but say if like the average uh say like where's he from kenya yes i think say if like the average kenyan's pace yeah was three hours to do a marathon and 50 years later just by changing their diet he's shaved an hour off I don't know, mate. So here, 1910, the record was just below three hours. Okay. By who? Uh, some American, Johnny Hayes. Okay. But I remember when was it Roger Bannister who broke but mate, the four-hour mile? It used to be. It used to be that only white people could compete. I believe. Really? Yeah, I think that at one point. That's no, disgusting. no, honestly, yeah. I believe so, that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Very back. So that's. Um, but I right, so. You don't understand how that can get dropped. I feel like it's... Uh, it's not necessarily of understand. No, I know, but I you question. You question it. Okay, there you go. But it's breaking boundaries. So as soon as one boundary is broken, other humans are inspired and they want to be, you know, I can do that. And then just keeps... It's, yeah, it's yeah. a snowball effect. So it's not like suddenly I ran an hour quicker than you. It's over a long period of time. Look, example, the 100 meter sprint. At some point, the world record would, would have been like 11 seconds. And now it's nine point four, nine point three, but you wouldn't use bolt. How does someone shave one and a half seconds off a hundred meter sprint? Well except by breaking boundaries over and over and yeah, over yeah, again. Yeah, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. I just saying like I guess I guess the only difference you could look at between those two races is like where the hundred meters is like it is seconds. Whereas I mean the relativity to like that and a marathon is that equivalent to shaving an hour hour off? I don't know. You have to. I think. I you, don't know. Yeah, you have to look at the ins and outs, and I know there is so much complexity, complexity to like the technique of running and marathons, and I, I totally like respect that. But yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just yeah, just I love ask, asking questions. Really, you have to look at. Do you think? Do you think footballers are on anything? Do you think it's like you know? Well, you do get those. Was it Ferdinand who failed to turn up to a drug test? No, but that was. I think that, that was, just, was cocaine. That was okay. That wasn't. That wasn't. <laughs> No, yeah, but like that's the thing. Like, do I don't do footballers do all of that? I we think they're like perfect athletes, but do they all secretly? Do you know secrets? <laughs> I don't know. You know that. secrets. <laughs> so like, footballers, in my opinion, they don't do steroids because they're trained. No, like, you know, I'm saying, but do, they, mate, do they get on the town and? Oh yeah, of course they do. I mean, I think they do. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you know then? What do you know? What well, I know a few things as well. <laughs> But we can't say anything. Of course not. That's outrageous. Yeah, that is outrageous. But, but at yeah. the end of the day, they're just normal guys with an insane job. And I'm sure they yeah, get on it. Two minutes ago, you uh, half an hour ago, you were saying that these people are superhuman. Yeah, the difference these between doing recreational human. drugs and performance enhancing drugs. Yeah. What's the difference? Why, when, when performance enhancing, at least that's for your career, that's for your livelihood, the freaking, the Maybe. recreational, that's just damaging, arguably. Why would they, why do you... And that's why I'm saying the thing of like... Maybe they need that release from the pressure of their job. Makes it worse, mate, over the long I term. Know, I don't know, but I think... Yeah. I, I don't know, I, that's all I'm saying. I think, I think it's definitely very healthy, considering over the years, <laughs> what, what? this list, of, well, all What's of this, <laughs> and just because it's only, it's only like the losers that normally get found out, the people that didn't win that get found out. I know 
I know. I just said usually. Okay. More often, it's but, the people that that oh come third gets done. But, but the person that wins, that breaks the record, that makes everyone's day, fine. Generally. Generally, yeah. But in the clay pigeon shooting, <laughs> you know, it's, no, but like, I don't know. But the one, the, the when the winners do get found out, it's a, it's a. It's a massive case. I, who was the bloke who ran and you could see, it was like 1980s, 90s, 100 meter sprinter, and you could see at the beginning of the race, he's like, and he went on and win, and they found him out, and he's now a disgrace. Well, yeah. Who was his name? I can't remember. Oh, his I name. don't know, mate. But well, that is, that is, yeah, that is just basically um, a big thing. Like, I remember, I don't know, just like as well, and I don't mean this to come across obviously offensively. But I was at the World Championships uh, in 20-whatever. And it was the female races, right, the sprints. And I remember, obviously, you know, I've done, gone to the gym for a while. I've, lo- I've done a lot of, like, you know, research into, when I, say, like, when I was younger. And I didn't have, say, like, the testosterone to build muscle. And I was trying. I was so confused. Then, obviously, alongside that, I saw women's abilities to put on muscle and stuff. And these sprinters, a lot of the women... They had muscles that were far larger than what seemed to be possible, according to like just like what was the ability. Because of obviously women don't have the testosterone that men have. But you also and, no no. But do you see where I'm coming from? I get I'm not you. trying to be like no no. I get you. I get you. But how do we know the levels? What's achievable? Look at their women weightlifters who are massive. These are full time. Athletes, what they do every day is train for this one specific thing. I know, I know, but what what I'm saying, I, like, I almost just wish I like had a photo or something of what. But like some of them, obviously, I've never been that close to like fe- like a lot of female athletes. And you may be right, but just based on like the you know the basic knowledge I have of like the ability, you know, what the women's ability to like put on bulk, big muscle. These you know these people's yeah arms and. If calves were just bulging in a way that just didn't seem natural. That's all. That's all. That's just the point I'm trying Maybe to make. Maybe that's why it was shocking to you because you'd never seen it before. So it was like it was like a yeah, but never seen in in terms of like not just in real life, but as in like I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 just, I remember thinking I was like you know I know I've seen you know there are athletes that do train consistently and and have done it their whole life and it also it's also it is quite rare that you get to see an elite level athlete up close like that they are different yeah but human. i know but no but then the, that's that's the whole point they were we're all human we are all human that's the point i'm trying to make just because they are athletes and they do train their whole life why are you looking at my hands you can bang, bang, no bang. i know i know but just because they are athletes and they do train their whole life doesn't mean that oh yeah that's that's why they have these like superhuman uh attributes that's not just you can't just justify it through that or else, why aren't all the you know like all footballers? Why aren't they all say? I don't know. You got different like, levels, I think. No, I know, but I I feel like I'm making a point here. I d- I feel like there is a point, and there there's that general acceptance that oh, because they're world class athletes, oh, of course they they're able to get this you know unnatural pre you know appearance, and I'm not just saying just women, men as well. You know, oh yeah, they're they're professional athletes. Yeah, yeah, that's why they have that. But do you never like? I think. I remember sitting there. I'm like, no, they're still they're still a human being, and there's still certain limits. There are. I get your point. I get yeah. your point. I totally get your point. But I think you need to accept that humans can push levels and no, boundaries. Yeah, no, I, but I do, mate. I do 100 percent accept that. But I do also know that there, you know, there are limits. There are no, no, no. This is where no no, no, there's no limits to the human body. There's no, no there's no limits. No Why limits. can't I fly then, mate? Well, obviously there's limits. Yeah, but but what if I said to you in the 19th... 19- well, there's no limits. So you think the hundred meters can be run in seven seconds? Who 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 says it can't? There's been, it's been three- scientifically proved why it can't be. Well, in three hundred five. What, what I'm saying is, in the 1950s, all right. If you said to me, oh yeah, someone's going to run a two-hour marathon, you'd be like, that's impossible. No, because even now, if you said someone's going to run it in one hour, I'd be like, all right, because there's, you know, there's all sorts that but you can get involved. If you can run a marathon in an hour, you could do a hundred meter in seven seconds. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, then. Do you see what I mean? Like, no, but there's do, probably a scientific. There's probably impossible. scientific. But that's what I'm saying. Saying that there's no limits to the human body, that's naive. Well, okay. There's that's no. Not we recording. can't. That's not recorded. Obviously, we can't fly. Okay. We can't breathe in yeah. space. There are some limits. But in terms but of in athlete, terms of running, 
That you think there's no limits in terms of running. Okay, there has to be limits, but not in the sense that you're saying. Well, what what do you think I'm saying? What you seem to be saying. I don't know. We, we don't know where the limits are. We don't know where the limits are. That's my point. Yeah, we don't know where it is. It's different to saying there is not what a limit. Do you understand? Who says there isn't a limit? Yeah, but then you say... You have to base everything based on the history and the proof that we've seen so far. And there is the proof a limit. That we, the proof that we've seen so far is that every year, boundaries are broken. Yeah. Which means... Not every year. Pretty much. Well, so the, the in different sports, a boundary is broken every year. Yeah. Okay. There's yeah, but not, so not my the point, same. Yeah, but my point is, what like if we're breaking things every single year, who says that's going to stop? Uh, I I argue that you can't. That's like saying okay, you're good, people are just going to get faster and faster and faster until you run at the speed of light. Well, because that is that is the limit, speed of light. Basically. So what happens in a hundred years time? Like everything's going to get broken. Someone's yep. going to beat, someone is going to beat Usain Bolt's 100 yeah. metre record. And someone will then beat the person that beat Usain Bolt's 100 metre record. It's going to just, it's just going to keep happening. But then that's like saying, that is literally the same as saying at one point, it's going to, at some point, say in a million years time, it's going to be run in two seconds. No, because eventually you will hit the limit. But the so there is a limit. Is. That's the point I'm making. But then there's also. Yeah, obviously we don't know if it is, yeah, we don't know the future, but you have to, you can't say what well, the point, the whole point I'm literally making is that. There is a limit. Obviously, saying, oh, yeah, because in 58 million years' time, it may be broken. Oh, there's a different limit. Yeah, all right. That's not the point I'm making. I'm saying there is a limit Who to the human that? body, right? The natural human body. And they, they will get to a point where there is only one way to improve it, and that is to put different things well, inside, inside of it yeah. to make it perform it better. And I'm saying... There, I believe in, you know, it's reasonable to question that that is, well, it's clear it's already been introduced that people are seeing there's no possible way to improve any further bar adding substances. Well, I was going to say, or not even substances like technology, like in 400, 500 years time, who says the Olympic starts allowing bionic arms, legs, you know what I mean? Uh, because as soon as someone no, breaks the record, then you're not. Then that's a test of technology. It's not a test of. I think it always. Well, then it's also a test of the human brain. There's yeah, no limit that's to the not brain. What the limit is. It's about you know athleticism. There, there. Okay. Do you think there's a limit to what a human bo- a human can achieve? Wait. In what sense? There's like, many different. For example, Colin O'Brady was the first human to circumnavigate the Arctic, like unaided. Yeah. That's never been done before. And he did it by himself, took him 90 days, something like that. Yeah, well, stuff like that. Like, the abilities of, you know, the human to do things. Yeah. yeah. No limit. No, yeah, there may, there may not be a limit, but I don't think you can put that into, in terms of athleticism, you can't just say there is a never-ending... But we're so far away. I, it's just... Unless the human evolves into like something, exactly. But I'm saying the human body, as it, you like, you got there. You have to think about what I'm actually saying. I get you. I just find the craziest thing is that someone is gonna break Kipchoge's two-hour marathon. Someone's gonna break Usain Bolt's hundred meter, and that's I can't. That's like that blows my mind. And you don't. And would you reasonably at that point question mm, if if you, if you just don't see so you're happy? No, to no, no, no. I do. Like, I understand this obviously, but you've got a. You gotta accept that some things are just wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some things are, but my thing would be like, okay, if no one's done it yet without any technology to help them the whole way, if no one, and then if someone, if people just start doing it with no technology, I would question. Hang on, some there's got to be some sort of like you know to, to now randomly do it. I mean, it's not like. The easiest, like black and white. Oh yeah, now that he's done it once, now there's a there's a blueprint, and that's it. I guarantee you, in the next two years, someone is going to break a two-hour marathon in a legit marathon. Yeah, under proper circ. Look at and I think I, and, I'm pretty I sure would, it, and I would in, and I would go. There's reasonable doubt here. That's what I'm saying. I think I think there it was reason, Roger reasonable. Bannister. Reasonable. I think it was Roger Bannister who did the four, the first four-minute mile. And no one had ever done it. No one thought it was possible, and he did it. Next thing you know, everyone's doing it. Why? Because they saw he can do it. And suddenly they train harder. They believe they like things. It's a snowball effect. 
So yeah. there's one person and does it. And I'm not it. doubting that that's possible. I'm not doubting that that, that is 100%. That is how the majority of sport and inspiration, etc., cetera, works. Someone, you see someone do something, you go, wow, I want to be like that. You train to be like that, you break it, right? I understand that. I fully do, mate. I really want to get that through to you. <laughs> we go around in circles. Yeah, I know, we are. I'm, we're going around in circles because I'm just trying to get into your head that I understand that. They, literally, I'm just saying. Do, you, do you also believe that there are superhumans out there who are natural? Well, people that have genetic, uh, like... Like the likes of Fedra, Bolt, Kipchoge, the people who have been the elite athletes for years at the well, yeah, top yeah, of Well, yeah, obviously, yeah, different people have. Like, I mean, you know, how our muscles connect to our bones and how, it, how our neurone pathways may, etc. All of that, there are, uh, like, mutations in a way where certain people are gifted, 100%. I, yeah, yeah, I do believe that. But then the power of that versus... The power of taking a shitload of steroids <laughs> could is is is. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That, that that's literally just the debate I'm I'm trying to say. No, like, I think that what you know. There's only so much that nature can do versus stuff that we make. Like, and do you know what I mean? No, but do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I understand. We've gone round in circles now. Wait, wait, so wait. what are we agreeing on? Agree. Okay. So I'm saying that I agree that it definitely is possible that they're. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> sorry. Uh, I tell her, sorry, like I'm about to say something shit. No, I was just Yeah, okay. So um yeah, no, basically I be- <laughs> I believe that obviously yeah, it is possible that people can b- break boundaries, that you know, records are there to be broken 100% and I respect anyone that dedicates their life to doing that naturally. Mm-hmm. And even taking stuff like if you're willing to go for it and smash it and you have the will to win, I respect that. Um but on the flip side, I do believe that you're willing to be the best and you really want it you will do anything some people will do anything and that could involve taking performance enhancing drugs in order to uh compete with people that may also be doing it and to level the playing field but there you go that's my point. let me end on this question it's a hard question well that you. was the question no this okay this last question has usain bolt ever taken performance enhancing drugs yes or no in your opinion in my opinion Tough question. Dabbled, mate. Dabbled, he's dabbled. Dabbled, dabbled. Like he's dabbled with a bit of gear. <laughs> I reckon he's dabbled. I reckon... Just at least I'll give it a go, see what happens. Just give it a go. If it's if just there, like, mate, like this could literally make you, like, ridiculous. What about... Not from... May, may not be from the... I don't know. I just think, like, what, like... But give I, it a go. Just wait, not even with the Olympics. Nothing, none of that. Okay, that's what like, I was going to say. When, he's like, when say. he's, like, 19 years old. Come on, give it a go. That's what I was going to ask. Just like a lot of yeah. guys have just tried, even down the local gym, have just tried it because, I'll oh, give it a go. It might make me, whatever. So you don't think he's done it to enhance his Olympic world athletics? Maybe, but obviously, I mean, I think I think it's reasonable to question maybe. Okay. But I'm not fair saying enough. definitely, definitely, yeah, 100%. It's reasonable. I think I do think it's naive to not question it. Fair enough. You, but, but are you are you just still a hundred percent like? Oh, he, I don't think he's done it. <laughs> yeah, but, but I no, also think. I, but I also, I also, no, no. that's not the question. The question. Okay. My question is: Do you question it? At, do, do no, you, I do. I do. I, I get the point that maybe he would have dabbled, dibble dabbled, but I don't think that he's ever used it to enhance his performance within professional racing. Maybe he. I, 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 you know what he's See, a god you choke it out because it's like shh, maybe maybe no I, in my opinion he's a god and he's clean as a whistle I know and that's what we all want to believe and that's what I do ho- sincerely hope I really hope that I really do but I also have the ability I and I think we all don't do to question things of course. You know? have you watched Icarus yet by the way no you need to watch it I will it will blow your mind haven't we just repeated ourselves loads in this podcast it's quite enjoyable though. I'm sure you guys enjoyed it and also 40 minutes jesus right end it there yeah i guess so So (laughs) right to conclude yeah what do you they're superhumans what do you think yeah like what do you think oh i don't conclude again so yeah how do we (laughs) cheers bye. bye. bye